Hey YouTube, iPodSec18 here, and right now I'm going to show you how to get the AirPlay remote for your AirPlay SDK iPhone development kit. Pretty much what the remote is, is it sends the screen of the x86 simulator to your device without installing on your device as an app, so you can test it on a real device. Now, what you would normally do is once you have it, is you go to remote control, and then you type in your IP, and then you would, um see it on your device but the only problem is that you have to be able to get it on your device first there is a tool that air the airplay sdk has called the deploy airplay remote client only problem is that you have to be able to sign the package which is something that costs 99 dollars through apple so right now i'm going to show you how to do it with a jailbroken device first what you're going to need to do is on your device you're going to have install us i have a video to get that and i'll have a link in the description once you have install us, what you're going to do is download the IPA from the description. You can either download the IPA I have or make it using the deploy remote client. It will give you an error while you're trying to deploy it, but it'll still make the IPA. So I would just recommend downloading it from my media fire. Once you have it downloaded, what you're going to want to do is SSH in your device. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video and I will link in the description. Okay, once you are in your SSH, you go to raw system files, and once you're at the root, you're going to go to users, slash documents, slash installers, slash downloads. Now, if you haven't downloaded anything on installers yet, you're going to have to make that folder called downloads with a capital D. Go in there and paste the IPA. And you see I have the AirPlay remote IPA right there. Uh, once you have it there, what you're going to do is you're going to go onto your device. And you're going to go into install us. And once you are there, you're going to go to downloads. And you should see AirPlay Remote uh, IPA. Um, and then you just click on it, press install, it'll install it like a normal app, you're going to respring your device, and then there should be an app right there called the AirPlay Remote. I'm going to open it up, and it should give you a splash screen, and if it crashes, you might have to respring, and if it keeps crashing, then you might re try reinstalling it. Now it'll give you this black screen that says, is on your computer, you're going to go to, let's say, go to the example carts. Um, located under C slash AirPlay SDK slash examples slash games slash carts and once you open it up you can build and run it and I already have the remote set up so as soon as this thing loads it's going to show up on my device but if you do not have it set up yet what you're going to do is you're going to go to remote control on the AirPlay X6 simulator. Whoops. You go to the remote control, you're going to type in the IP address for your iPod, and you're going to enable sending device screen to device. And then it'll connect. And you'll see on my uh, device, I have the same game running that I have running on the computer. And I can control it with my device. And you see there it is running on my device. I can now control it with my device. Whoops. Pretty bad at this game, but that's just the idea of how to get the uh, AirPlay remote client onto your device. It's pretty cool to be able to test your applications without having to install it on your device or having to pay $99 to sign the package to install it on your device. So the... Um, you can deploy it to other devices because if you're paying for the uh, SDK, but because you don't need to sign those packages, or not some of them anyway. But that's just how you get the remote client onto your device. It's iPod Tech 18. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.